Hey, what's up? It's me, Chaos, and today I'm going to be talking about this video. It's about five months old. It's called Hashtag Hold Tight, and it was uh, developed by ANZ Australia. I will have a link to it in the description. And uh, it addresses a phobia that all gay and lesbian people pretty much collectively fear have and it's just that and this is a rational fear but it cripples us and our ability to live comfortably and normally and there's not really much we can do about it other than acknowledge that it exists and try our best to ignore it so i'm going to go ahead and play the video for you it's only a minute 33 seconds but it's really well done and awesome So basically, the video brings up a thing that gay people will tend to instinctively recoil from intimate physical contact of any type. I was just holding hands, a hand on your knee, or something like that. Just subtle yet very uh, intensive and obvious things that indicate some kind of uh, feelings for each other. Most often holding hands and it's something that we pretty much all tend to suffer from it's very instinctive and I don't think this really stems directly from homophobia but I do think they tend to have the same cause homophobia sexism racism all kinds of discrimination like that tend to occur because we as humans are very social um, community oriented animals we like following the crowd because that's what tends to improve our overall well-being the most. Uh, and being different is usually instinctively connoted to being wrong in some sense. And while it's easy to acknowledge that yes, uniqueness and diversity have a lot of pl places in society, it doesn't change the fact that difference can still be very wrong in a lot of ways. While yes, Something like skin color or sexuality isn't necessarily wrong in any way. Um, walking on your tippy toes everywhere is probably not the best thing to do. Not because there's just some social pressure against it, but because that would probably cause foot damage over time. We are not physically designed to walk on the balls of our feet all the time. And, you know, this if you were walking around on the balls of your feet all the time, you'd be, feel this instinctive urge to stop because everyone around you isn't. You are different. You're the odd one out. And this instinctive pull really hits us hard in the more compulsive parts of our sexuality. Our sexuality, it's very easy to come to terms with and accept your sexuality in general, at least, well, 
depending on your situation, obviously. But it's very feasible to come to a complete and utter acceptance of it. Because it's something that is very extended over time, and a lot of the things tend to be less deliberated. Like, there is no deliberation behind having an attraction to X gender. It's an automatic, subconscious, compulsive thing. It's not something that you have to really come to terms with that's going to happen. I mean, you do have to kind of come to terms with it, but, you know. But... It's something that extends over time. You are gay, or lesbian, or straight, or bisexual, or whatever sexuality, over the course of your entire life, and in very, very few, very rare, and very phenomenal circumstances does that ever actually change at all, even the slightest. Um, and, but... You don't get the luxury of time whenever it comes to something like holding hands. If you're sitting in a restaurant and you're like just out to dinner with a gay partner, if I was at a restaurant eating dinner with eating dinner out with my boyfriend, um, that would be a very time extended affair. If somebody, if there was some kind of uh, hostile glance or something that happened, just a subtle degree of homophobia. Or, uh, um, unacceptance, um, it wouldn't immediately terminate the day. It wouldn't be over. It, would just be like, it wouldn't just be like, oh no, it's all over. No, we would have to make a very conscious decision to end it. But if we were just holding hands and we got that same glare, um, it all it takes is just a little pull, just a little nudge in the direction of recoiling, and you can basically entirely lose that contact. And it's really awkward to kind of try to reinitiate that. Even though you both are pretty much acknowledging that it's an entirely instinctive thing. But the thing is, it's very nonverbal. So communication is purely done physically. And your communication just implies you don't want to do this. So neither of you will try to pull, uh, reinitiate. It really kind of sucks. It's a very natural and uh, awesome form of displaying, showing affection for each other, and it's really a shame that we miss out just because of this phobia. Now, the extent of my personal uh, fear of this is it happens a lot in public. Uh, I pretty much, I will try on occasions to do it. I almost never actually initiate it, which mostly because of my more passive nature in general. I tend to be very passive about physical contact in general, much to my own loss a lot of the time. But if I do, I'll usually end up being the first to recoil in that kind of situation. And it actually goes so far as I actually feel very uncomfortable holding hands or something like that, even in a fairly private situation. Like if we're just in the car driving somewhere, I'll feel discomfort and insecurity about holding hands with us. Like we're in the car, nobody's going to see us, and nobody's going to disprove us, but that discomfort and instinctive recoil is still there. And what really sucks about that is I've always been a very person that just doesn't give a flying fuck about what people think about me in general. I'm not saying that just to get credence about that. It's just kind of a thing that's always been a thing with me. Uh, but this one aspect, because I am a human, a, a social animal, instinctively compelled to follow the group mentality, uh, this is still an instinctive recoil that I have to suffer from. And uh, on a final note, why it's so hard to ignore, um, we tend to recoil even when there aren't unaccepting glances or hostile glares or anything like that because of an actual case of confirmation bias that we suffer from. And it's a confirmation bi bias because 
whenever you hold hands or something like that, you this is very a very conscious yet also compulsive action that you are aware of that visually and obviously to anyone without any doubt will display your homosexuality or your sexuality in general. If I were to hold hands with another, if I were to just, you know, go out to lunch with another guy, unless we kiss or something, there's no obvious indicator that we're gay. We're just two guys having lunch. There are a number of just purely social, non-sexual contexts behind that. But if you're holding hands, there is no non-sexual, non-romantic, non-homosexual uh, context behind that. It is purely homosexual. It is a very obvious and visual display that I am homosexual and I am have feelings for this guy. And that consciousness mixed with a compulsive thing, the conscious act um, develops this idea that there is going to be someone who disapproves in this room. You just have that feeling that someone is going to disapprove. And that is an idea that is formulated in your head. And um, the compulsive aspect is that the act itself is very compulsive, which means any kind of instinctive urge to repel will almost immediately result in a complete response. And so if you get any the confirmation bias sets in because anything that could in any feasible way, feasible way, uh, be misconstrued as some kind of um, glancing away or something like that, will be misconstrued negatively. Um, how many times have you been out in public and you look at someone and they, you say, catch their gaze, you know, like look away or something, just to like not be awkward or something, try to avoid eye contact. It's totally natural, and it's totally fine to do, but because of the confirmation bias, we instinctively think, oh, God, this guy is looking away because he doesn't want to look at our homosexuality, even though there's a perfect valid explanation that has absolutely nothing to do with that. We have no reason to believe it's because we're holding hands, but the confirmation bias mixed with the compulsive and instinctive nature of the holding hands will already cause the damage and will retract. It's really a massive shame. So, with all of that being said, if you are gay or lesbian, or even straight, it doesn't matter what sexuality you are, and you feel an uh, out-of-place urge to let go, hold tight. That sounds very cliche and cheesy. I am so sorry. Um, but actually, uh, have a good day. If you like the video, feel free to drop a like, feel free to subscribe or whatever. I don't really care. Do whatever you see fit and stay chaotic.